Mind Apples, and today I wanted to talk to you about stress. So some people say that they enjoy being stressed at work, it gives them the extra push they need and motivates them to get the job done. Whilst other people say they hate being stressed, they can't think straight and it makes them feel ill. So which one is it? Is stress good for us or not? Well, to explain this, I thought I'd talk to you about the Yerkes and Dodson Law. Now, this is a really old psychological concept from way back in 1908, so it's really stood the test of time. And they believe that with heightened arousal, productivity increases. No, not that type of arousal. <laughs> heightened arousal in psychological terms just means any increase in a physiological state like excitement, anger or fear. So at work, we could call this pressure. Uh, it could be pressure of a deadline, it could be the pressure of what our boss thinks of our work, or even the, the excited pressure of having a new task for the first time or learning something new. So pressure really motivates us, but there's a cut-off point. And when we're under too much pressure, our productivity decreases. And this is because we're protecting ourselves from stress. We disengage and um, just to protect ourselves from feeling stressed. Now, if you think back to a time when you were truly, truly stressed, what did it feel like? Did you get a headache? Maybe your appetite was affected? Maybe your sleep was impacted? It doesn't feel too good, does it? And this is because our sympathetic system kicks in when we're under too much pressure. This is our fight and flight system. And what this does, it dampens down our parasympathetic system, which is in charge of our rest and digest function and some of our immunity. Have you ever had that feeling when you go on holiday and you've been really busy at work or at home preparing, and then you get on holiday and you're ill straight away, you have a cold or a tummy bug? This is the parasympathetic system kicking back in to deal with all the things going on in your body and regulating yourself once the stress is gone. So if we look at it in this way, stress doesn't feel good and it's not that good for us. So companies who are really good at motivating staff and putting them under pressure to get the best out of them, really need to be careful that there's not too much pressure and the staff aren't becoming stressed. If you want to learn more about this, why not get in touch at Mind Apples? And we look forward to hearing from you. Mm -hmm.